Hi guys, here's the the new stand from DYS. Um, it's the stand for the DSLR gimbal. Um, I don't know if this is going to come in a box or not, but uh, this is the way it was sent to me. Um, obviously, probably to save on uh, shipping for me. Okay, so this is what you get. You can expect there's obviously your uh, carbon fiber rods. There's um, three different sizes, long ones, medium and short we'll say. And then inside here we have our bag of hardware, which is a bag of clamps. Uh, yeah, hat clamps and bolts, and uh, what are those M three forties by fifty and thirty fives. So there's two different sizes, I believe, bolts in there, and then in here we have some more um, hardware. As you see, these will be the brackets for the the sides. Um, we'll get them all in order. Uh, I won't uh, waste any time doing a build video of this one uh, because it's pretty straightforward to put together. Um, as you see, probably these plates on uh, one side has the bolt end in it, so it's, it's only sorry the nut end uh, for the bolts, and the other ones don't. So obviously that'll be one side, and the other one will go on the other side. So we'll set these out. And those are the hooks for putting your obviously your camera stand in your camera sorry and then you have uh, the I believe these are brackets for the back of these ones or not sorry there they are ones but anyway we'll get this thing put together and we'll uh, give you a quick look at it then anyway as I said that's a new uh, DSLR camera stand from DYS thanks for watching guys Okay guys, um, I said I wasn't going to do a build video on this, but um, I'll um, add a few pointers in here that you can relate to. Um, these um, bolts here, which are the M3 35mm, you get six in the packet. So for the arms, which are the smallest ones um, of the carbon fibre tubes that come in the packet, you will find that there's two holes on either side. So basically what you do is you take one of your flat plates that has got no bolts or anything in it, stick your bolts in, line them up with two of the holes, put them through to the other side and then mount the arm it doesn't matter what way round it goes um, and then just tighten it up like so this one here doesn't want to tighten up for some reason And then as you can see, as I've done with the other ones lying on deck, you end up with two arms like that. Um, the bolts are protruding a wee bit, um, so something to watch out for. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the next step and uh, I'll join you in, join in a second guys. Okay guys, the next step is the bottom legs. Um, they're the, the middle length ones that come in your pack. 
you should receive two of them. Now, I'm not sure if I'm missing a plate, uh, if we're going to cross the bottom here or not. Um, I'll need to check with uh, DYS. But basically that's the one end, it's easy enough, it's just two half clamps, bolt through it and one of your, your uh, plates here that you have with um, the bolts, uh, sorry the nut ends uh, pressed into the carbon fibre for going on top, just slip the bolts up through, tighten it up. Now for the other end, um, the easiest way to do it is you have one plate without the, the nut pressed in and one with. And what I found would be the easiest way is to put the two of them together so it's still slack and you'll notice then you have two at the top and the reason for those are for to clamp the top one down so once you get the, the first arms in just put the second ones clamps in I find that it's easier to adjust these and start tightening them up slowly so you don't get them on the wrong threads and then what to do is take two more of your clamps for the pipe and put them inside and then again to your uh, hex bolts through and just nip it up with your fingers so you should end up with something that looks kind of like that so you've got two at the bottom for taking the bar like so so I said to leave it slack and just nip them up so that then will sit down and turn like that and then your long long one take one of those and then that will press down into the ones on top like so and you can clamp that all up and then that would be your your bottom one complete just once you've tightened it up Obviously then, you would do the same mechanism here that you have on the bottom for your top arm for going on the top of the the other end and slide through and then we have some brackets to put on um, that we can uh, space, uh, space them out and keep the two of them together. Anyway, um, if there's any other pointers in this I'll uh, I'll add it into the video and I'll continue to build and I'll get back to you in a second guys. Thanks, bye bye. Okay guys, the next step after you've uh, put your right, ends on for the feet to stabilise it. Also you built up the corner bracket and then you've got the other corner bracket and your hook. All done. The next step is to make up a um, couple of brackets for underneath the arms here. Another one there. Oh. Somebody left some tape on that for me. Like so. And then we'll have the same again at the other end. And what this does is it allows you then to evenly space them out and also you can you can move them to a different angle. Um, this is just quickly showing you or attempting to anyway. Um, what you'd need then is obviously a clamp on the top of each one. Then You'd obviously need your top plate 
to go down through and the same here and then obviously line up the holes them the bolts with the nuts that's in the bottom and once you get them to grip just hand tighten them up and then obviously move on to the next one and the same again on this side do it is obviously trying one at a time and then get the other side. I need to repeat this for the other side as well for the other arm the stand also make sure that you have your hooks and your feet at the correct ends and anyway, we'll be back in a second when we finish this. Okay, guys. Um, one thing, I, one of the reasons why I love buying things of a DYS, you always get a few spares. You might have something missing now and again, but you always have plenty of spares. Now, let's get rid of these. As you can see, I've put the bars across. Now, one thing I haven't done is tighten it up completely. And the reason for that is that you want it to be um, set at the right distance. And what I mean by that is not up and down, but just in here, is um, for the angle that your your plate, your um, the width that you need. Now once you've got that set, um, I'm trying to get this, not the, the best of tables these, but this one, but then what I'll do is tighten up, as you can see there, what I'll do then is tighten that up um, at the correct distance from the top. For the for the actual DSLR gimbal handheld, and then tighten up the bolts here and here and here and here, and that'll be it. Um, that's it, guys. Not much actually to the build, but anyways, a couple of pointers um, for you to watch out for, as I said, but. Yeah, that should be it. Hopefully. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully might get a post a, a video with it actually being used uh, once I add the new motor. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.